The Colosseum, or as the Italian call it the Colosso, is not just an ancient structure. It's a symbol representing that Roman Empire throughout history. While resembling a stadium, it functioned quite differently. Not for modern sports, but for brutal events, primarily gladiator contests and exhaustions. But around 2000 years ago, during a time when human life held little value, this arena wasn't reserved for the elite. It hosted various individuals, including gladiators and condemned prisoners. The Colosseum underwent its most extensive reconstruction approximately 300 years after its con uh, construction. Around the 3rd century CE, a period marked by the decline of the Roman Empire, this was a time when Roman faced earthquakes and more such even led to partial collapse of the structure. In the 5th century CE, amid Rome's economic and religious transformation, the use of Colosseum for deadly spectacles ceased, reflecting the influence of Christianity. Over the centuries, earthquakes continued to take their toll, with significant portions of the Colosseum crumbling particularly its northern side. In the Dark Ages, Romans lost touch with its history, with some considering it a pagan temple, while others spread rumors about demonic presence, complicating efforts to preserve the monument. Despite periodic earthquakes causing further damage, the Colosseum endured each term gradually during its stability. It wasn't until the 11th century that the significance of Colosseum as a historical site became recognized, and by the year 1000 CE, substantial sections had already succumbed to seismic activity. Geologists recently discovered the reason for the instability. Half of the structure stands on firm ground, while the other half, the one prone to collapse, during earthquakes rests on after soil. However, neither earthquakes nor churches were adversaries of this structure. It was the people of Rome themselves. They didn't hold any value for this ancient building and in fact wished to remove it from the face of the earth. Despite their desire, their strength fell short, but whenever they needed construction materials, they dragged the Colosseum, taking away stones and bring for their homes. It is noteworthy that the walls of this edifice were entirely covered with travertine and its ground consisted entirely of marble stones. The stones of the facade and the floor of the building were the first to be dismantled and taken away. Depleting sooner than the other materials, in certain periods, this structure housed numerous inhabitants, forming a large makeshift settlement around it. Homeless Romans would find a corner, create a shelter for themselves, and the Colosseum was so insecure that an ordinary person couldn't enter. When we observe the Colosseum today, despite the advertisements it is faced, it stands somewhat upright, especially its northern side. The reason you recognize this place is that it is the Vatican, the headquarters of the Pope. It is now an independent country, situated 6 kilometers from the Colosseum. The main road of the Vatican used to pass by this structure, meaning that during various eras, the Pope would pass by it daily from the northern side. They would say, this is our route, don't let it be ruined. This is why they took good care of its northern side. If this wasn't the Pope's road, this monument would surely have been destroyed. However, by maintaining one side, the entire structure has almost remained intact, allowing us to see it today. Another reason for its preservation is that ancient cities in our region, like Tisvun, Takhta Jamshid, Susa, or Hegmetana, have remained, but not in this war. The reason is that our cities were easily invaded by enemies from all sides who would commence destruction, looting, and burning. Thus, 
such monumental structures are absent in our cities. However, Rome had a strategic position, preventing enemies from easily entering. They would only need to fortify the northern side, where the Pops Road passed. If this road didn't exist, this monument would have been demolished. Additionally, ancient cities in Iran, such as Tisfum, Tahrir Jamshid, Susa, or Hikmatana, have remnants, but not in this form. The reason is that our cities were easily invaded by enemies from all sides who would commence destruction, looting, and burning. Thus, such monumental structures absent in our cities. However, Rome had a strategic position preventing enemies from easily entering. They would only need to fortify the northern side where the Pops roads passed. If this road didn't exist, this monument would have been demolished. One more historical note. Once an ancient Roman general, Hanabil Barsa managed to capture the city of Rome, an extraordinary feat. However, he was the sole commander to achieve this. And it happened only once, around 218 BCE, which is 200 years before the construction of the Colosseum.